the frame with as much of the subject as you can. This can be done by getting in extremely close or simply changing your angle or perspective. Any distracting background is eliminated and the image is much more intimate, viewed at an eye-to-eye -eye level. The rule of thirds. The theory is that if you place points of interest at the intersections, that your photo becomes more balanced. Study has shown that when you're viewing images that the person's eye usually goes to one of the intersection points, most naturally, rather than at the center shot. Simplicity can also be described as using a focal point. The reason a focal point is important is that when you look at an image, your eye will generally need a resting place or something of interest to really hold it. Trying to include too much in an image often spoils it. The lines that can be found in images are very powerful elements in terms of mood, as well as how they lead a viewer into a photo. Lines can be horizontal, vertical, diagonal, or even S or C curves. Use the S curves or shapes as a more relaxed way to lead your eye through the composition. Strive for balance. Look at the composition and determine if there's something out of place that tilts the viewer's attention one way or the other. Symmetry makes for a simple, straightforward, balanced composition. Strive for balance by adjusting your composition to establish symmetry in lines, shapes, objects, and color. Balance and symmetry pictures are pleasing to the eye. Depth of field. A narrow depth of field focuses on the subject by blurring the background, which draws the viewer's eye to the point of focus. Keep the horizon from the middle. Watch the line of the horizon when framing a photograph. Keep the line of the horizon straight and never exactly in the middle. Don't let the horizon fall dead center in the picture. One of the most effective ways to make your digital images more interesting to the eye is to change the angle that you're shooting from or changing the point of view to either a bird's eye or a worm's eye, shooting up on an object to make them look more powerful, or shooting down on a subject to diminish them or make them look less imposing. The space in front of a moving subject is called active space. When someone views an image where someone is moving in a direction, their eye naturally moves in that direction too. So put more space in front of the subject in the direction that the subject is moving and less space behind them. Patterns, texture, and color. Use patterns, particularly repeating patterns, to make pictures more interesting. Repetitive objects make great subjects. Whenever you see a series of similar objects repeated over and over, you have found a winning composition. Repetition never fails to impress and create unique frames.